Yo, Google is just lying about the Pixel 3 XL, and it is ridiculous! Get daily tech news in a way that doesn't suck. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next episode. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech. Of course, the show that gives you all the latest tech news. From one geek that is me to another that is you. Happy freaking Wednesday, our favorite day of the week. It is hump day, the only day of the week where you get to hump anybody you'd like. And I'll tell you what, we got a special contest going on right now. A giveaway, if you will. Let me know in the comment section below. Just type the words hump adjourn today and I will pick one of you randomly, just one fan to hump. You get all my humps, just one of you though. This is the best tech giveaway I've ever seen, by the way. News. All right, so story numero uno, the Samsung Galaxy S10, as you know, will have an in-display fingerprint scanner sensor thingy. <laughs> I know, how very tech-like of me. But it seems that the S10 will not be the first Samsung device to have that thing. According to really reputable leakers coming out of China, uh, Samsung is actually going to place one of these fingerprint scanners under the display for a new smartphone that is specifically for the Chinese market. Apparently the phone is codenamed Phoenix. Uh, let's be honest, that's pretty badass. It will launch in two different varieties, being the Galaxy P30 and the Galaxy P30 Plus. Huh, that sounds like a familiar name, don't you think? Especially for a market such as, uh, well, I don't know, China. I'm talking about the Huawei P20 Pro for those of you who are having trouble playing along at home. Now I gotta be honest, this actually makes a lot of sense to me because we've been hearing rumblings that like Samsung isn't completely sure whether or not this technology is ready for mainstream in terms of like putting this in their flagship devices. So it might be smart to test this on another phone that's going out to a Chinese market. Uh, where it may not be like the most premium device they sell, just to try it, see people's reactions, see how it goes. Uh, because, hey, listen, we don't know, it might suck a bunch of honky tonky donkey dick. And this will help us learn, children. Alright, so to add fuel to the fire that is the Galaxy Note 9 versus the iPhone XS Max, which, by the way, I should preface by saying, I'm not buying a XS Max, I don't give a shit either way. In a new speed test, the iPhone XS Max destroyed the Note 9 again. Even with twice as much RAM, the best processor Android has to offer, it still didn't keep up. Now again, I want to remind you, I don't care either way. It's 2018, all of these motherfucking phones are amazing. We live in the future. And to the average consumer, none of this matters. I am pointing this out for those of you who do think that it matters. And you do know why I am pointing this out, right? I like to always make the point that the hardware doesn't matter, the specs don't matter, the no, not, but the specs, baby! But the specs! None of it fucking matters. It is 2018. This is not a hardware game anymore. This is a software game. And this proves that point to a T. In fact, Rene Ritchie said it best. I recently watched a video from him where he said, just because a Ferrari has fewer tires than a Mack truck, it can still go faster and handle better because it's not hauling a trailer behind it. So you know what, go ahead, y'all can call me a sheep down in the comment section below, even though I'm not even using an iPhone. I just think we all need to be honest with ourselves here for a second. Maybe the fact that the phone needs to have eight gigabytes of RAM, the fact that it has specs coming out of its anal cavity, and you need that to have a fluid software experience? I think that says way more about the software than it does about the hardware itself. All right, now let's talk about the Google Pixel 3 XL. They're lying! Google Pixel Ultra confirmed! Woo! I'm just kidding. Calm down. Uh, Pixel 3 XL, we know what it looks like. We've been seeing it for months. This is real. The leaks are real. The leaks have been accurate. This is it. Google Pixel 3 XL, yes, it looks shitty. Yes, it's the real phone. But still, that for some reason does not stop Google for actively showing us a device that is not that. This is a recent leak of the upcoming Pixel Stand, wireless charging stand thing. Let that sink in. This is an illustration of a real stand, the real Pixel stand. And in fact, in some articles have said, not only does this show us the stand, but it also shows us an upcoming slideshow feature that will be on the Pixel 3 and 3 XL. So the illustration of the stand itself is real, is legit. The illustration showing the feature is also real, is legit. 
but the illustration of the fucking phone you're displaying isn't? Bitch! What? And you know what? Normally I would question this. I would be like, why is everything else in this photo real and accurate, but the phone that's showing on the fucking thing isn't real? But at this point, we know Google is just stupid. We put out an episode last week that answered all your questions about the Pixel 3 XL. The leaks are real. That's what the phone looks like. The illustration, the phone on this illustration is not the phone, but it just doesn't stop them. We've seen it in ads made by Google ads, these ridiculous concept devices that have no representation of the actual device that's coming out. We've seen Pixelbook ads that show the same thing, a phone that does not look like the phone we're getting. Oh, and then the illustrations within Android. Okay, whatever, John, it's just a concept device. They're just putting it in there because there's so many different Android devices. That still does not explain why they do this. This is a Pixel stand made for Pixel phones, and the phone that is part of the illustration on the Pixel stand is not a Pixel phone, what the f***? So Google is just lying. And I don't think they're like lying on purpose. I think they're just stupid. They do not communicate. There is zero communication for whatever reason between actual hardware teams and marketing. And this is not the first time we've seen this. Year after year, we see Google events where they make fun of Apple for not including a feature or taking something away or whatever. And then literally the very next year, they do the same thing. So they have really cute little writers sit in the back being like, oh, this would be a funny joke. And then they think that we'll forget by next year off Google. Okay, so what do you guys think? What are your opinions? Let us know in the comment section below. Google, I don't think you realize that this is going to hurt you. You know, you're setting expectations up here and then you're going to deliver a phone that looks like this. And that is the show. Hopefully you liked it. You learned something. If you did hit that like button, if you hate my stupid face, that dislike button is for you. If you're new here, subscribe and stuff because why not? Hmm? Okay. Bye.